What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Bourbon of the Week. My name's Chris. I'm going to be your host for today, and you know what today is. This is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, which is the largest drinking day of the year here in America. So we had to do a wild turkey tier list. If you don't know what a tier list is, stick around. We'll tell you all about that. But we've got every wild turkey that I have in my collection, and we're going to rank these from superb to failure. Let's get to it. So you may be asking yourself, Chris, what's a tier list? And this was started in the gaming community basically just to rank things. It starts out from S as superb, A, B, C, D, E, and F is obviously pretty transparent. We're going to drop the E just because I don't like it there. We're going to go S is superb, A, B, C, D, and F. But let's not keep you any longer, right? This is Wild Turkey 101 Rye. This is going to be the first bottle that we're putting on our tier list today. And something I didn't know about this bottle is it actually used to be released. They kind of ran out of inventory on it. They lowered the proof to 81 proof. Then they made it allocated. Then they made it released to restaurants and bars only. And now it seems to be making a comeback here on the shelves, at least in Pennsylvania and hopefully across the nation as well. Now this is obviously 101 proof, it's 51% rye, 37% corn, which leaves us with 12% malted barley, and just like its brother, Wild Turkey 101, it runs about 25 bucks. Now I did have some trouble placing this on my tier list because I do love rye and I do love wild turkey, but I don't know how much I love wild turkey rye. They're not actually known for their ryes. They have a six year rye and a single barrel rye as well. I have the single barrel, I don't have the six year. But for me, I had to put this in a D only because I don't think it deserves to be an F at that price point. But at the same time, I don't find myself reaching for this too often on the shelf unless I'm using it in an old fashioned or a mixed drink. So again, for 25 bucks, will it stay in the collection? Absolutely. Will I continue to drink it? Probably. But at the end of the day, we're going to put this first bottle at a D. Let's get to our second bottle. And for our second bottle, we had to go with the close relative, just Wild Turkey 101 here. This bottle, again, $24.99, 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley. Always on your shelf. You can get the liter bottles and save a little bit more money as well. The best thing about this bottle is it's absolutely delicious, whether you drink it neat, whether you drink it on the rocks, or you put it in a mixed drink. The other thing you got to love about this bottle, six to eight years old, not a lot of stuff you're getting in that $25 price range and that age statement behind it, along with the proof. And the funny thing about the proof is they bring this out of the barrel at about 109 proof. So to be 101 proof, it's basically barrel strength when we're talking about this bottle. All that being said, I really can't find much wrong with this bottle. I don't want to put it up at the S though. I don't think it's superb. I do think it's one of the best bottles that you can get for $25 and below. So we're going to put this at the A tier for our particular tier list today. Up next to our tier list, we're going with the Kentucky Spirit line. I happen to have two of these bottles. This one has the Fine Wine and Good Spirits tag on it still. I don't believe that this one did, although I could be wrong about that. You can see how empty it is. I've had it for a long time. Here's the thing. This is a single barrel program done by Wild Turkey, and apparently Kentucky Spirit was the second single barrel ever released after Blanton's, and we all know about Blanton's. That being said, we're working with the same mash bill as our Wild Turkey 101 at that 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley, also coming in at 101 proof. So this at $60 compared to Wild Turkey 101 at $25 is really where I start to distinguish whether or not this deserves to be at the value that it's at. This bottle also sits around that eight year mark. And let me just specify that when I'm doing this tier list, it's strictly off the bottles that we're putting on this tier list today. And I don't love these bottles. I think it's kind of a waste of product compared to what you can get for $25. And then once you move across to that Russell's Reserve line, I think it's outstanding on that side of things. So for me, these two bottles or Kentucky Spirit in general are going to fall to an F now. You might have a single barrel that you love and that's fine. These are obviously gonna differ because they are single barrels, but for me, this is at the bottom of the tier list when it comes to the Wild Turkey line. And ladies and gentlemen, you knew we had to break it out. Wild Turkey Rare Breed. This is coming in at 116.8 proof. And the thing about this is I didn't know they used to release this in numbered batches. Now they apparently release different batches, but it's just based off proof, kind of like Stag Jr. does, where the proof corresponds with the batch. But me particularly, I've only ever seen it at 116.8 proof. That being said, this is 6, 8, 12-year-old bourbon. We still have that wonderful Wild Turkey mash bill behind this. And at 40 seven dollars probably pushing 50 these days you really can't go wrong when you're buying rare breeds some people in the game say this is the best bang for your buck out there not the cheapest not the most expensive but as far as flavor profile goes on this as far as what you're getting proof wise as far as quintessential wild turkey this is the name in the game but Remember, S is for superb. It's got to be the absolute best of the best of wild turkey. And I have a couple of bottles that I think belong there. I'm going to put this one in the A category, though, not the S category. What do you guys think about that? 
But listen, let's step away from that wild turkey line and move towards the Russell's Reserve line. This is Russell's Reserve single barrel. This is 110 proof, usually in that eight to 10 year range. I believe this one's eight years, eight months old. Listen, this bottle right here is literally what I love about bourbon. It's what made me fall in love with bourbon. I've had bourbons before this where I was like, yeah, that's really good. I like this. But once I tried this bottle for the first time, I could not stop trying to find every store pick that was out there when it came to the Russell's Reserve single barrels. And at 60 bucks sitting on the shelf, I would literally pick this bottle up anytime that I saw it. We just talked about it with Wild Turkey Rare Breed being the best bang for your buck. I would argue that if you get a very good single barrel from Russell's Reserve, you're getting some of the best whiskey in the game today. Again, I can't stress how much this made me fall in love with bourbon. Russell's Reserve single barrel is going to be our first S tier superb bourbon coming out of Wild Turkey. And of course, we can't talk about Russell's Reserve without talking about the newly released Russell's Reserve 13 on everybody's shopping list right now. Now, they did release three different batches of this. I will be honest with you. This is batch number three. It says Russell's Reserve 13. This has 14, 15, 18, and 20-year-old whiskey in it. Russell's Reserve 13 batch one actually had a lot more 13-year-old whiskey in it. I think, personally, I would have loved batch one more than I like batch three. All that being said... This bourbon comes in at 114.8 proof. It's still wild turkey. It's still that same mash bill that we know and love. And this bottle comes in at $100. Now, when I first opened this bottle up, I was very disappointed. I tried it. It was over oaked. It was overproofed. It didn't taste very good to me. But as I let it open up, as I tried it about a week later, I did like it a lot more. I will say, I still think the Russell's Reserve 13 batch one is going to be the best batch that they put out if they keep adding age to this. For me personally, it's too much oak on this bottle right here. But all that being said, it's still a very good bottle. Is it superb? Not for my palate. Will it be for other people's? Probably. Is it an A tier? I don't think so. At least, again, not for me. I'm going to put this as a B tier as Batch 3, Russell's Reserve 13. Do you guys think I got that right or do you think I got that wrong? Now, here's one you guys don't see every day. This is WB Saffle. Maybe you know about this. Maybe you don't. This is part of the Whiskey Baron collection coming out of Wild Turkey or the Campari group. Now, they have three different bottles. They have this one. They have a Bond and Lillard, and they had an Old Rippy. The Old Rippy and the Bond and Lillard didn't have any Eddie or Jimmy Russell influence, which I don't really know how that works if it's coming out of Wild Turkey. But this one right here does have the Eddie Russell influence and is apparently the best across all three. This bottle is 107 proof, which is right in my wheelhouse of my favorite proofs. Anywhere from about 107 to 115 is where I truly think that bourbon shines. This is a 375 milliliter bottle, which means it's a little bit smaller, about half the size of what you're normally getting. And it is $50 for this size bottle of bourbon, which means this is really a $100 bottle of bourbon. Now the question is, do I think this bottle is worth $100? And the answer is overwhelmingly yes. If you have an opportunity to buy this bottle, even at $50 for a 375 milliliter, you should absolutely pull the trigger. Eddie Russell knows what he's doing. It's giving you a little bit different flavor profile than you're used to getting in Wild Turkey. And that's why this bottle is going to be our second bottle in the S tier superb when it comes to the Wild Turkey line. But let's get back into a rye here. This is another rye that I have in my collection from Wild Turkey, although it's the Russell's Reserve side of things rather than the Wild Turkey side of things. This does have the same mash bill, though, at 51% rye, 37% corn, 12% malted barley. Now, here's the thing about Wild Turkey and rye. Wild Turkey isn't focused on their ryes, right? They're focused on their bourbons, which is why they have so many good bourbons and have been doing it for so long. But it seems like there's a shift both in the whiskey community as well as within Wild Turkey where people are starting to hone in on rye, And it seems like that's what they're doing here with this rye release single barrel. That's right, this is a single barrel release, which means every one you get is going to be a little bit different. You can tell I just got this. I've only had a little bit so far. I do enjoy it. It is $65 and it is 104 proof. Do I think it's an S? Absolutely not. But where would I put this on the list? That's a good question. I'm going to put this on my tier list as a C. Again, I think this is a little bit better than the Wild Turkey 101 ride, but you're talking $25 compared to $65. You're talking a batched product versus a single barrel. And this one right here is a little bit harder to find than the Wild Turkey 101 ride. And listen, if you've made it this far in the video, make sure you click that like and that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 5,000 by the end of the year because our last bottle that we're going with today is Russell's Reserve 10 year. And this bottle has to be on the list. The question is, where would you put it and where am I going to put it today? Now, this is one of the last bottles on the shelf that still has a 10 year old age statement on it. It's coming in at 90 proof and it's about 40 bucks. We could talk about Eagle Rare, but they're way too hard to find. This again is quintessential Russell's Reserve side of things. It's got that sweetness, that toffee that you love. And this is something that I typically recommend to somebody newer to the whiskey world, but also somebody who just wants to sit down, have a chill night. You can definitely pour up a glass of this neat on the rocks, whatever you want to do. You're going to enjoy this bottle right here.
And listen, the best thing about this bottle right here is going to be the consistency. Whether it's the first time you've drank a glass of whiskey in your life or you've had 150 bottles in your collection at one point, you can go back to this bottle, really appreciate what it has to offer. I don't think it's superb. I don't think it's even A tier, but I am going to put this bottle on the B tier when it comes to our tier list. Where would you put it? But hey, that's my wild turkey lineup from superb all the way down to F. Maybe you have a bottle that I don't have in my collection. Let me know in the comment section where you would put that particular bottle in your tier list. Please don't drink and drive this holiday season. Always drink responsibly. Check us out on all our social medias, TikTok, Instagram, as well as Patreon. All of those links in the description below. Come chat with us 24 seven on our Discord. That link in the description below as well. And as always, stay healthy, stay happy, stay drinking. Cheers, y'all.